A very good morning to you, Cameron. Good morning, Anne. Yes, I think, well, let's start talking about Kensington Palace's uh, mm. new photograph, which they have just released. It is the first official photograph we have had of the Princess of Wales since her abdominal surgery in January. I can tell you that it is a very recent photograph. It was oh, taken good. earlier this week in Windsor by Prince William. And of course, it shows Princess Catherine there uh, sat with her three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. And this is certainly a day of reassurance, I think, because mm. of course there's been so much speculation, particularly over the last few weeks, about the states of the Princess of Wales's health. Then we had that intrusive, unofficial paparazzi photograph of her in a car with her mother earlier this week. But now we have an official photograph showing that clearly all is well and she is continuing her recovery as expected. We always were told that she's not going to carry out any public engagements until after Easter, um, but she is clearly there smiling with her three children. And she has also written a message, as I think you, you, you uh, spoke in your introduction. She said, thank you for your kind wishes and continued support over the last two months. Wishing everyone a happy Mother's Day. Catherine. So there oh. we go, the Princess of Wales pictured for the first time. And that is a photograph that <laughs> the nation wanted to see, yes. isn't it? I'm so glad they understood that we needed to see that and to make the point that it is a very recent photograph because, and even to the, 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 the lovely sort of domestic side of it, mm. it just seems to be like anyone would have, it's out on outside in the garden and it was taken by Prince William. So they've kept it very close. It's not sort of official. It's something they've just decided to share with us. You, you're totally right. That is exactly what the yeah. nation needed. They needed that reassurance. They needed to see the Princess of Wales. So that is a real relief, isn't it, Cameron? Wanted to ask you about Buckingham Palace of, as well, because they have released a really moving Mother's Day picture mm -hmm. of the King and the late Queen, haven't they? It's a beautiful choice. Yeah, it certainly is. A black and white photograph taken when it was the then Prince Charles, of course, uh, on the polo field and a very smiling, beaming, happy Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, as Prince Charles has just finished his polo match. And of course, it is bittersweet for him because, of course, King Charles no longer has his mother around, but he is monarch and he has a blended family. The uh, Queen Camilla, of course, uh, has her own two children and lots of grandchildren. And Prince uh, and King Charles has the Prince and Princess of Wales and, of course, Prince Harry and Meghan across the other side of the Atlantic. So it is, it is a day very much of perhaps celebrating family too. Uh, Mothering Sunday, of course, very uh, important in many British lives and uh, the royal family very much marking that in their own way. And you mentioned the Princess of Wales, uh, the fact that it was Prince William taking the photograph. This is a trend, I think, from the Prince and Princess of Wales. The gone are the days where they would invite perhaps a couple of news photographers to take an official photograph uh, of the royal. Instead, they do it themselves in the privacy of their own home. And you yeah. see the, the the children there, I don't know if you can bring the children the picture back up, but they're all really happy, they're all really relaxed because they know it's their father taking mm. the photograph rather than a stranger, a, a, new, a news photographer. And that's what we see um, for every birthday of the royal child as well. It tends to be the Princess of Wales who has taken that official uh, photograph rather than a news photographer. And I think it just shows the kind of intimate family units mm. that the Waleses really have. Well, they've understood the difference, haven't they? I mean, well, we know that Catherine isn't undertaking any official royal duties at the moment. That's fine. But they have still bothered to do a, to share their little private moment with us. And it really is so reassuring because Catherine looks well. She really mm. does look well. And the kids all look happy. And it's a lovely um, it's a lovely foursome there, taken by Prince William. Says it all, doesn't it? Yeah, and the body language is so lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So, you know, it's just beautiful to see. I like the idea. It just could be anyone's back garden. Oh, yeah, it's well, lovely, it? isn't it? It's just what we needed, as yeah. you said. Cameron, I do want to ask you about these reports that we've got coming in at the moment of a car that crashed into the gates of Buckingham Palace in the early hours of this morning. Tell us what we know so far. Yes, we know the car did, as you said, crashed into the front gates um, of the palace. Those gates were damaged, I'm told. Uh, no members of the royal family were in residence at Buckingham Palace uh, at the time. We're also told that the person who was driving the car has been arrested by police. There's social media images of the car being absolutely swamped, as you can probably imagine, by uh, armed police officers. I also understand that repairs to that iconic gate are very much underway. So no reports of any injuries, no members of the royal family, as I said, in residence. Uh, we don't know the circumstances as to why the car 
uh, crashed into those gates. No doubt the Metropolitan Police will give us more details perhaps later today, particularly if anybody is charged. Uh, but it looks like the instance was very well contained by police and security services uh, at Buckingham Palace. So the only damage appears to be the gate, which is uh, being repaired as we I'm speak. I'm sure they've got a spare pair in a garage somewhere, haven't they? Oh, I'm sure they do. <laughs> yeah. uh, Cameron, we believe you were at your mother's house. Is that correct for Mother's Day? Yes, I am. I'm in Warwickshire. Uh, she's probably watching in a different room, me on the telly, so she's probably surprised seeing the flowers and everything in the background of the shots, but yes. And what's, uh, what's, your, message, what's your message to your mum on Mother's Day? I'm going to put oh, you on the spot. Him. No, I'm going to put you on the spot. OK. Uh, happy Mother's Day, Julie. Thank <laughs> you for everything. And we're going for a nice lunch uh, this afternoon. So, yeah. Excellent.